Hi, this is John Alston for the Fire Officer Trust Podcast. I teach a course called the Seven C's of Fire Officer Trust. It talks about the characteristics and traits of good fire officers. And it reminded me of something. How can you tell whether you have a good officer or a bad officer? Well, as you can hear in the background, I'm making breakfast for my family, and uh, I've been on travel, and I wanted to make sure that the eggs I still had in the refrigerator were still good. And I remembered this little test. That if you take an egg and you drop it in a cup of water, like I'm doing now, if the egg stays at the bottom, it doesn't float to the top, stays steady, and it's a good egg. Probably can use it. So I had to go through a carton of eggs, a couple of cartons I had in there, and I kept dropping them in, and found out that I had some good eggs, and whoop, there's one that popped up, and it's a bad egg. I'll have to toss that aside, and then I tried another egg, and I kept going through until I found the good egg. And it's great, because I had enough to do the task that I needed to do, which was to make breakfast for my family. Well, that's a great quick test to find out whether you got a good egg or a bad egg, whether it's rotten or whether it's useful. But how can you tell with fire officers? Well, there are some characteristics and some traits that you're going to see that make good officers and bad officers. And if you don't see them, it doesn't mean that that officer is rotten or not useful. It just means maybe they haven't been properly trained and properly prepared for leadership and management. And there's some ways to get that done. I hope you'll come out and join me at FDIC and some of the other courses that we deal so we can talk about the seven C's of Fire Officer Trust and maybe we can measure and identify some of those characteristics that make sure that we don't have any rotten officers out there. And if we do get some rotten ones, you'll be able to identify them. Not to dwell on the negative, there are some great, positive, excellent fire officers out there that I bet they privilege and pleasure to work with, and uh, I'll be using some of them as an example in the class. Take care. I better get back to making breakfast. I think the sausage smells really good.